Three Rivers Archery, your longbow and recurve experts. Hi, today we're going to talk about wood arrows and different aspects to them you can consider when you're getting your next set. So the first thing about wood arrows is the shaft material itself, what it's made out of. Now there's a lot of great, uh, great trees out there that can make a great arrow. The most popular and the tried and true is going to be Port Orford Cedar. Now Port Orford Cedar, it's a great um, uh, it's a great shaft material because one, it is light, so you can definitely get it to uh, fly out of a lot of bows good distance, uh, but also it offers a great amount of flex to it. Um, so it's really going to recover fast and, and, and fly good. Um, it's also probably the most traditional wood shaft uh, there is of what's been offered for wood arrows throughout the years. Um, now from there, there's a lot of other woods that do make great shafts, like I said, some that we sell, uh, tamarack, ash, bamboo. Uh, these all make great uh, shaft material and they just kind of go off with the base that Port Orford sets and advances uh, in some way. So like Tamarack and that, you're going to offer a little bit more uh, stiffness, which makes it great for keeping its straightness. Um, it is going to be harder to straighten to it, has a little bit more weight. Um, if you're looking for even heavier weight, things like ash are really strong uh, just because it's tight grained. Um, so that's where you get more mass to it. Um, and then, but it's going to take things like heat to straighten it. Uh, just because it is so um, set on how it's made. Um, now, uh, another great material, bamboo. Uh, it's one of the older materials out there when it comes to uh, the history of the bow. Uh, great things about it is incredibly durable. It's like carbon arrow strength durability. Um, and once you get it straight, it's going to hold that straightness the best. The problem is it does take it direct heat to make it straight, to loosen it up a bit, to hold that straightness. It's a lot more work into it, but you're going to have a great performing arrow. Um, from there, different things to consider when you're buying wood arrows or, or matching them up for it when you're making it. Uh, first thing I like to look at that I think is the most important is a weight match. So getting your arrows to be in a tighter weight tolerance to each other. Because being a natural material, that wood's going to grow differently. And from different sets of trees of when shafts are being put together, they're going to vary. When I weight match shafts myself, I usually buy 100 or a couple hundred and I will split them up into 10 grain groups. And you will see in those few hundred shafts, it will cover a board uh, across the board of different weights. So um, there will be a lot of variety and variation to the weight if you just get something that's not matched. Um, you know, if you're just shooting, just starting out, not huge to look into, but you know, if you're gonna get into hunting mode or if you're gonna be doing distance shooting in that, that your arrows don't have 100 grains of difference uh, between the two can really come down to making sure that you're getting as accurate as you can be. Um, so just something, I think it's a great upgrade um, and will help with your shooting. Now, other things that can happen with wood arrows is they can be tapered. And what that taper is, is a 10 inch. That tapers from one diameter down to usually like a 5 16 uh, And the different diameters you get, 5 16 11 32nd, and 23 64ths, are the thickness and a lot of that will come down to what the spine of the arrow shaft is, how it, how it flexes and is red. Um, the larger diameters are going to be the stiffer spines and then the smaller spines will be the lighter diameters like the 5 16 There will be some fluctuation between that, 11 30 seconds covering the largest gambit of it all, uh, but it will be a natural material really come down to when they're making the, the arrow shafts, uh, what it spines out to. So. Uh, normally, if you're going 40 pounds and lighter, it's going to be 5 16 65 pounds and up will be 23 64 but there will be some variation. Um, the taper is great. Uh, it's a nice thing to add weight to the front of the arrow, but then also have it recover faster in flight so you get better flight from a tapered arrow versus a parallel arrow. Um, other things you can do with it are add hardwoods uh, footing the front of your arrow. Uh, now, the reason to put uh, hardwood on the front of the arrow is one, it's not bending as much, um, but it offers weight and durability there. And then also, the um, main reason they used to foot shafts was uh, if an arrow broke. So if a wood arrow breaks, normally it breaks right behind the point because that's the first weak spot. Uh, if you can foot your arrow with a hard material, it adds length to it, that then you can cut back and put your point back to it. Um, so a great option to adding life to old wood arrows. Um, now from there, fletching options. Now, like any other shaft material, there's tons of fletching options you can do to it, but the advantage that wood arrows uh, seem to offer the best is the variations of it. As you see here, you can go basic, something that's just stained and sealed, basic crest, but then you can get a lot 
of different color combinations because wood shafting takes the stain, different stains, and paint the best to really, really shine on basically whatever you can dream up, you can make on a wood arrow. Um, and from there, we'll get to components. Now, wood arrows you'd think would have the least amount of components, but being the oldest material, there's a lot offered out there. Uh, when it comes to knocks, you can do a glue-on knock, like you see kind of standard, that uses a taper. And then there's also footed knocks, uh, footed knocks and also um, um, self-cut knocks. That's where the knock is cut right into the wood shelf, or I'm sorry, into the, uh, uh, the wood end. And then you reinforce it, whether that be with bone, horn, um, or just sinew like this one. Uh, offers a, a, a little bit more primitive style to it, but the wood is definitely strong enough for that. Um, from there, on other components, um, companies like Top Hat, we have a few jigs ourselves. Um, there's a lot of different variations to it where it's making points. You can use a taper tool that puts a taper on the end of the arrow, where then you can glue on a point. Uh, very basic to it. Uh, it needs glue, but it's uh, very common. Where companies like Top Hat, they use the shaft just as it is for extra strength, and then that is twisted on in place. So you, you get um, precision accuracy because it's um, centered on the shaft, and also being threaded like that with that flat support to it adds a lot of durability. Um, there are some neat things if you're looking to add uh, weight to your wood arrows. We've got our internal uh, point drilling jig here. That's where you'll drill the end of the shaft, whether that's the knock end or the point end. And then there's different metal materials that you can mount in there to add extra weight there. Um, the footing jig, as we saw there, uh, there's self-knocker jigs for cutting that knock end on it, and a lot of other components and variations to it, um, which makes wood arrows a great uh, shaft material to use for shooting traditional archer because you can still get that gorgeous look that you're looking for and fine-tuning your setup so that that arrow is flying straight and true. Um, and this is just an overview on wood arrows. If you have any questions on wood arrows, whether it's making them or selecting of them, please comment below. I'd be happy to answer them. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, please hit that share button to share with your friends and family. I'm Jonathan Karch with Three Rivers Archery. Thanks for watching.